Faces, have you come to do some shopping? <laughs> <laughs> Here at the bazaar, we sell wonderful items from all over the world, but each item is endowed with a mystical story. In fact, just this morning, I was at the trading post and I bought a fantastic thing to sell to you. In fact, it is a candle holder that says the Squish family because I am Squish. <laughs> Oh, but my friends, let me distract you now with my big arms and spicy charms. <laughs> While I tell you about the item that I have in my most precious trinket box, it is a very valuable, never before seen, upside down, my speak and spell toy. Oh. 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 Interesting. This is nothing, this is nothing, this is nothing. <laughs> oh. Today, I made a great trade with another market seller and I bought my pet budgies! Yes, yes, we've all seen a budgie and a speak and spell before. But have you ever seen a candle holder that says the Squish family because I'm Squish? And this is no ordinary candle holder that says the Squish family because I'm Squish. For any candle you place will burn forever and light even the largest space. Oh. It's true! Oh. Well, squish this bad boy, <laughs> because this speak and spell is also no ordinary speak and spell, of course. If I look at you and I actually sketch, I can read your mind! Oh. 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 Well, listen to this. Not only are my pet budgies very cute, but they will tell you your future. Come on, you know the candlestick that says squish is back. You know the candlestick. You know the candlestick. No, 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 no. You cannot settle this amongst ourselves. There's only one way to settle this. Let us let the buyer decide what they want to buy. Huh? It and is you... a buyer's market, Doctor. <laughs> yes, it's true. And using the power of cheers and applause, I want you to tell us which item you're most interested in. Is it the candle holder that says the Squish family because I'm Squish that can light any room? <laughs> And one day, a family was traveling through the desert, and they came across this mystical spirit. Suddenly, from below, a storm of sand began and sushed them all inside. They all are screaming and panicking, and suddenly a voice appears from the sand and says, Hello, I am just a friendly spirit. Do not be afraid. I just wanted a family of my own. And the spirit placed the family down by a verdant oasis where they quenched their thirst and ate dates from the tree and learned how to spell. <laughs> and then they realized all of our stories are orally told, so we need not to spell. No, of course. But... Needless for another thousand years or so. <laughs> but suddenly the speak and spell also said, Your husband has another wife across town. Whoa. 
And the wife looked into this, and she discovered that it was true. Oy, 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 what and a... so she went from town to town with this mystical speak and or spell, <laughs> and helped other wives and troubled souls find the truth behind the mysteries of their lives. Until <laughs> finally, she met the king, and she looked deep in his eyes and asked him, what are your plans for our economy, dear Shah? <laughs> and he said, Recession, recession, recession! <laughs> and there was a general election and everything was a OK! <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the bazaar! Captain, are you well? We are the bazaar, just like every bazaar or marketplace you have ever been to, it is unpredictable. You do not know what is going to happen. It's completely and entirely unplanned, just like this show and just like a bazaar. You go in for garlic, you leave with a goat. <laughs> Your goat is on the outside, you can collect it on the way. It's called Jeremy. They're just all called Jeremy nowadays. <laughs> say, um, as I said, this show, it is entirely improvised. It's different every single time. And what sets it out as being truly unique as you can see, the subject is being set up behind me as well, uh, very, very uh, secretly. Uh, but also the fact that, unless you uh, haven't noticed, we are all Middle Eastern improvisers and comedians. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, generally, we don't get that much applause, particularly in the media. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, when you hear about Middle Eastern people in the news and so on, uh, it doesn't go so great for us. Um, but as comedians, we're going to attempt not to bomb. Um, <laughs> just blow up the stage. No. Uh, <laughs> um, the reason that this show is going to be different, well, you probably know, Shahrazad wrote 1001 Tales in the Arabian Nights saga. But it turns out she wrote actually 1001 plus another one. And tonight's saga is going to be an improvised version of that. And what sets us out differently, as I say, is not only we're going to use your suggestions, but also uh, every single uh, performance we have a guest performance artist, Mr. Musa Al Awadi here. Yeah. Who's going to play an incredible set? Uh, and we are all together, collectively, going to listen into this set and be inspired uh, in so much as that is the story that we will tell. Um, that's all you need to know for now. Please, can you make some noise for Mr. Musa Alawadi? actually wake you all up. Okay, so the piece I was about to play and will play is called Lemma Bada Hidafenda. It is an 800 plus year old song written back in the Andalusian Caliphate times. Um, it's a song about one of the harems of the Caliph. And something special about this song you need to count to 10 for each line. So, if you want to participate, I'll ask if you can just tap. Let's see how that sounds. Sounds like a good bass. I'll need that. So, I'm going to count to 10. At 1 and 6 and 7, I'll ask for a, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. When I play, you'll feel where the 6 and 7 should be. And I'll leave it to you. If you wish to make this more bassy, it's down to your shoes. If not, leave it to me. <laughs> and just drift and relax. but by this, <clears throat> the story of a gas mask that does not work. <laughs> and like many stories, it starts long, long, long ago in a faraway land of the underground Charing Cross station. <laughs> Sorry, brother, did, did you just cough in my direction? <laughs> I have not done a, 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 a gas. <laughs> it was a uh, embankment or something. Smelt it dirty. <laughs> the one who sat around with the gun. <laughs> the one who farted did it. <laughs> The man with the biggest beard, it should, their bum should be feared. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it's, it's rush hour. That's right. And uh, we're in a confined space deep underneath 
Charing Cross Station. Charing Cross in old Baghdad. Charing <laughs> <laughs> Cross. <laughs> Where the Haringe warriors were so angry, they slaughtered the entire village. They were cross indeed, yes. <laughs> that is why we have come here, my brother. It is our want to avenge them. I'm going to put down the spear I've been holding in this. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little. Uh, it was, I was wondering what you were doing there. <laughs> Quite a powerful stance. Thank you, very much. Just be honest with me, brother. Okay. Did I... you fart? Can I tell you a little a secret? And then you don't tell anyone? All right. You do too. <laughs> ah, you tricksy. You little tricksy little one. Take that spear and poke you with it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Don't tell. I want to. Don't just don't tell. Foy, foy, foy. Uh, Who farted? No. <laughs> oh, it was the Herring Cross War Warriors yeah. or something. Happy day of the memorial of the <laughs> Herring <Yes>. Cross slaughter. <laughs> yes. I see you have your spear. Yes, I've been holding it aloft as is our way. Very strong. Very strong. Very Thank nice. you. Are you here for the um for the big race? And we get up, you know, ah. the stairs in the lift, and we here for the race. Yes, sir, the camel race. My brother here, he is the fastest camel rider in all of the <laughs> He can go up to 0.5 kilometers, 0 .00, 0 0.5 kilometers oh. per day. Oh. Well, if you put it like that, you make it sound really fast, brother. So, 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 <laughs> you're the uncle so Omar. Yes. The great Uncle Omar. Yes, I am oh, Uncle Omar. Omar. <laughs> please, please, um. <laughs> yes. Would uh, you please sign my hand? Just, just, just sign my hand. I have no paper, nothing. Of course. Wait, what is this? There you are. Sugar, sugar. You, are, you, you want me to uh, sign anything at all? I got the, I'm the, the guy with this. My brother here is a famous warrior. That's right. Yes. I, I'm the younger brother, but I have uh, murdered many people, <laughs> <laughs> and in really cool ways as well. <laughs> he made the kebab out of a hundred men. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, oh yeah. He is here today to avenge the Haringey cross slaughter. <laughs> He's here to seek. We are seeking uh, the final. Uh, uh, not an, what's the opposite of an ancestor? What do you call it? A descendant. A descendant, yes. Like, yes. Uh, we're looking for the final descendant of the great Haringey warrior, uh, Hamid bin Kilaman. <laughs> I, I think that will be his name from now on. Yes. Uh, Why are you on my 
basically sucking is an old piece of rubber. Yes, and you'd be amazed to see what fumes can do. It's like I'm seeing mystical creatures with every sniff. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know, Selma. I know you always want me to be special, but all I can tell you right now uh, is that I've got back, eh? And you're just standing there flouncing around with a bit of an old rubber. I know. Guess who's feeling special now? <laughs> <laughs> but really, I am on a quest to Samira. A quest to find Hamid bin Kilaman. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Yes, here we go again. Yes. Hamid bin Kilaman. For only he knows how to get rid of this caca smell that has haunted us for 17 generations. I feel like you're mocking everything I'm saying. It's a very important plot point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we have been surrounded by the smell of caca for 17 generations. I just feel like between you and me, Selma, you think you're better than me, don't you? Oh, darling, I do, but what makes you like <laughs> it? You are a useless camel, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> I, I, I try my hardest, but unfortunately, I'm not a very fast the, the only way to make you walk around is to carry this baklava on a stick in front of your face. Camel and a man camel fall in love, they make a baby camel. Uh, do I look like a camel to you? <laughs> you always have the hunk with me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Oh, uh, oh, quiet, try and act normal for a moment. Hello, Mr. Omar, are you here for the race? I am. Yes, I'm here to register for the race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is, put that down. This is my camel, Hamdan. What's his name? Hamdan. Ham Dan. Yes, right. like the thing we're not allowed to eat, and the name of the white man. Put nice. Ham Dan. Speaking of the white man, what a thing! Yeah. I'm a strange camel. I don't have a hump on my back. Just one mini big one in the front. Yes, this. You was born with upside down hump disease. No. It scrapes along the sand as we go, but it kind of acts like rudder. It's got the cool really. Flesh, well, yeah. So, uh, you came first last year. Yes. You came second year before. Uh -huh. So, you'll be in like, you know the rows that they come in, and you've got standing in with your geezer on top? Right. So, you'll be in one, two, three. You've got a lucky number. I can give you a lucky number so that the people that are betting can, you know, bet on you. Um, and then, what's your favourite number? One. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with one. That sounds good. First spot, first place. <laughs> Number one yes. to the Mr. Omar that likes to talk to his fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good choice. I, one is my favourite number. <laughs> one is also the loneliest number. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's the only one I know how to spell. Oh, you can spell? Yeah. Well, speak the spell. How do you speak and spell the thing? Spell it. <laughs> <laughs> yes? No. Oh? <laughs> You are a clever boy. You know what? You can eat the baklava this time. Good boy, good boy, good boy. So is this like the best vantage point for the race? Can you not tell from how far I manspread that this is the VIP box? Um, of course, darling. It's just my first time at the camel race. Darling. You think I would do anything else for you? You, beautiful and 21. <laughs> Me, 703 years old. And us, happiest couple yes, in really this are. surrounding area. Uh, sir, madam, uh, betting slip, would you like to play a little place of bet today? Oh. Are we allowed? I think we might as well treat ourselves. <laughs> what for you? Oh, well, if my husband's <laughs> <wanted. laughs> Would you like a tip? Uh, the camels uh, that are looking good. Out of the ten camels, yeah. I'd say a one 
six, seven. Uh, one, six, seven. Yes, they all look good to me. Yes, the others don't look so Would good. You like a Ignore the other ones. Would you like a fifth? <laughs> well, we don't do that in our culture. You are doing your job. Oh, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you may stay if you want. I might need some drink soon. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, I mean, we might. What is the refreshment? Okay. One, six, and seven. You say oh. refreshments, baklava. Oh, don't mind if I do. It's very nice. This one looks like something's just nibbled the end of it. Baklava. <laughs> 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 I would love one. How old are you? <laughs> I am very young. I am uh, 97. Oh! <laughs> Look, can you see by the two, five, seven, eight wrinkles I have? Oh, it's, it's, I can. I want to sprinkle dust between the crevices of your face. Oh, oh, no. uh, I will do that when my the fifth wife has gone. Shukran, shukran. <laughs> I don't suppose you have a tip for the 85 year old man? We give them a tip you know, culture, we do not tip the people because they are just doing their job. I have only 17 bags of gold. Do you think I am made of gold? <laughs> <laughs> and people wonder why I go to the, to the white section where all the white people are. Oh, like okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I, they like it. Okay. The, the next one, I promise. The next one. They seem to be going in and out. Welcome to the Hindu Camel Race. You can see the race stop in the places. Oh, best the trip this week, week is uh, Omar in space number one. It's oh. good to see. He's bringing his wonderful per, camel hand down. down Darling, the is that camel's hump upside down? <laughs> is it uh, a pregnant oh. camel? And this is unprecedented. Uh, Omar seems to be walking along the track, placing a trail of back lava along the track. <laughs> 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 he has that, but there's no rules saying he can't do that. <laughs> It looks a lot like... It looks a lot oh. like this half-eaten baklava oh. we have here, darling. Oh. Oh, it must they... be a good sign. All right, so it looks like they're ready to go and improve. It's time. It's time. Two. Okay. One. Oh. And they're off. Oh. <laughs> That's two hundred. Two hundred. Oh, stingy. Two hundred. and fifty. Five hundred fifty dinar. None. <laughs> I know. I know. Brother. Ah. <laughs> You're back. Yes. Did I you see the ace? <laughs> Uh, no, sorry, I was uh, on a side quest, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the revenge killing! Yes, yes. Uh, any luck? Uh, yeah, I, well, I got fairly far, uh, but unfortunately, um, I have some bad news. Um, you see this red patch here? <laughs> yes. It didn't go well. <laughs> I've been killed. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! We got no, no, we got it. 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 We my brother's cocker. <laughs> <laughs> it does happen when a body, you know, passes on such a Long morning period. <laughs> oh, you're quite rude for a man, for any man. I just, uh, it's just been a long day. I did the call of prayer, and then I did another one, and then four more after that. <laughs> <laughs> My vocal cords are really strange. <laughs> so are you just going to cry all day, or are we going to do something about this? I come to you sick, fine. Oh, right, okay. That was the whole point. Go. <laughs> 
I want to avenge my brother. Mm -hmm. All I have, he was the one with the weapon skills. All I have is a stupid camel with a baklava addiction. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, tell me, my friend. What about these humps? These lovely camel humps? <laughs> Is it in the back or in the front? <laughs> he only has one, and it's on the front. <laughs> ah, my lumps, my camel hump is on the front. <gasps> my friend, you have found the most unique camel in all the land. This camel is worth millions. Well, I am surprised to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> That is very interesting. <laughs> I just, you know, from my day job watching the Kaka ladies cleaning, I have what? been, I've heard long about this camel. These Kaka ladies, what do they know about camels? Not too much. They mostly complain about the Kaka. But really, they have said that the camels originate from a specific humpty dumpty point in the desert. <laughs> We are too, I am just as confused as you are, but you know, I don't shoot the Imam messenger. So, so if I find these camel caca ladies, yes. they might tell me how to use my camel to the best of its ability to help me get revenge on my brother. Yes, but to find caca ladies, you must first give me very special bribe for telling you all of this. <laughs> because that is the cornerstone of uh, what I do here, really. I only have 550 dinars. <gasps> If I guess this just on this occasion, I give this special discount for you. Oh. <laughs> All of it? Well, you have some more? <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ima. The caca ladies are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Selma, I think there's something wrong with you. 
here with your airs and graces, thinking you're better than the rest of us working class people down here, shoveling the cucker. I'm not hearing what is wrong in that uh, situation. <laughs> I hear only facts. I'll just think, Selma, if you think you're all that, maybe you should just go out and do something with your life. Do you know what I mean? Come on, Oma. Yeah, oh, I guess oh. I could. I mean, hand down. come on. <sighs> Hello, caca ladies. Hello. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. uh, oh, we need to one of these oh, days. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. You don't have to. What? Please. What is this? Right. I'm just a humble camel jockey. He's number one camel jockey. Oh, no, no. <laughs> We're talking camel. Camel talks. Oh, yes. He's born with a gift. He can Ooh. talk, uh, barely. And, um... <laughs> I can spell any word. Challenge me. <laughs> no, you, oh. you can spell one word. Yeah, if it say the one that I know, it's oh, I'm do it well for you. Um, can you spell delusional? <laughs> I don't know that one. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, uh, uh, he has another gift. As you can probably notice, uh, this hump on his back is actually a prosthetic. Oh. Oh. His real hump is down below. Oh, and it is a boy camel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty yes. sure. Should somebody, we check? Somebody, yes, it is a boy camel. Oh, somebody <laughs> tried to milk me. Was not milk. <laughs> Are you sure they were not using a just sketch? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I was told if I came here, you, you would have some understanding about his affliction. Well, and, listen. Uh, greater purpose, perhaps. We do shovel cuckoo all day. So let me ask you this. What colour is his caca? <gasps> the, the, the camel or the man? The man. Funny you Sam, should say that. What colour is his caca? Funny you should say that. All he eats is uh, baklava with a very high pistachio uh, rating. Mm. And so it is mostly green. <laughs> with an allergy warning. You are right. Yeah, it's payday. So, uh, caca scoop. Get your, your money. Well, I'm not. How you feeling after the, your, your brother? Oh. <laughs> oh sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, a bit oh. Jamaican and all that. You know, Mr. Letter Sending. Sorry. Oh, oh you're right. Right. Got okay. paid. Tam, Dan, yeah. spelling, cam, all thing. Yeah. Uh, so, I've got an extra, I've got an extra bit for that. Oh, yeah, because I've been doing all the work. Yeah, because Miss Dar sitting on the chair. Yeah, well, she thinks yeah. she's special, don't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About you. <laughs> she thinks she's got some destiny or something, but she just seems like an old person to me. Yeah, yeah, a bit of her own, you know. Of her own, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Smells like a car car, do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. They're an asshole for the whole gas yeah. mask thing. Yeah. Yeah, did, uh, did Sammy sit that, put that green stuff in her thing? He, he, her Get her to light it. Oh, yeah, thank Get her to light it. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Um, Look, I am in mourning. Yeah. My brother was slain yeah. by the murderer, Halim bin Kilaman. Yeah. Oh. And I seek revenge. Right. And the wise imam told me my camel might be able to help and to seek you for advice. <laughs> Okay, I think you need to talk to Selma. Yeah, Selma would be, uh, um, yeah. Selma. Oh, your no, Selma. please don't make me do it again. I do all the work. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Oh, what Selma, is what's, the what's, what's You the... think you're special. You Sorry. think you're destined for something else. You know about the green cucker. You've got green stuff in that gas mask thing. Light it. See what it tells yes, you. I bought that at a very high price. Okay, okay, I should stop mourning. My job here is done, gentlemen. I'm going to sweet cup. Okay. <laughs> I will blow the smoke in the air and we will read the special message in a group because it's more poetic that way. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even smoke in peace without another freaking quest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can see it. Oh, thank God, because I'm about to pass out. <laughs> he came in, which produces the green. Caca! 
There's a full stop, so I'm just waiting for the next person. Uh, the color that produces the green. Caca! <laughs> can defeat any man. Just by. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, it is phonetic as well as literal. This is incredible, Count. incredible smokes. Counting, just by counting. Oh. My camel can count. Oh. He can count to, to one. Oh. Oh. Sure. Maybe if we train him to count more, you can mesmerize Halim bin Kilaman and, and give me the opportunity to strike him down. This sounds like oh. a training montage. Yes! <laughs> montage music! Pick it! Oh, no. 
on that scene, so I just took your place. This, so is, this is nobody. Uh, <laughs> you replaced me, Daddy. You fucking. Uh, uh, you slapped me and you ran away. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are oh, yeah. stressing me out. I'm going home with a dyslexia oh, one because you're such. I know, you were just excited, correct? You were excited. Oh, I love you. Now, with the full power of counting and the ability to create green caca, you are surely dying. Do your thing! Wait, you must lie on top of my one hand. This is how we do it. Yes, sir. Yes, I remember. Yes, thanks for reminding me. This and is how we do it. The more pressure, the more caca. Yes, and you will count the cacas as they come flying out. All right, here we go. You can't. Ellie, no. take this. No. Oh, oh, no, 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 this is kind of freaky. No, 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 the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, my darling. Get up. <laughs> Call me daddy all your life. <laughs> I guess I'll just clean this up. Oh, yes. You've got a bit of money. Thank you. No, keep it coming. That was not Keep it coming. Oh. The moral of the story. Ah, yes. Ah. Is. When? A. Camel. Betrays. You. Always. Get. Forgiveness. <laughs> when a camel betrays you, always get forgiveness. Thank you. Talking to all about ten minutes before the second part starts. <laughs>